Welcome back to my office where today I have a small little project that I've been excited to do for a while. I just got in the mail some lava rocks that I've been waiting for and what I'm going to do with it. I've been surfing online, uh, my Facebook uh, groups that I'm a part of. I've been seeing a lot of people like with like lava rocks and then their uh, their pinguiculas, their pings, and they're mounting it to it. And I was like, oh, I want to give that a try. So what better way to do that than trying it myself? So what I have here is just the materials that I'm going to use. I'm going to use, if you've seen my other series of my propagation of my pings, I have some baby pups that I'm going to uh, try to mount um, on the rocks. Uh, I do have the rocks itself. I did get a little glass container from a local uh, nursery. It was like 90% off. So I was like, oh, might as well. So I'm going to keep it in here just nice and, uh, yeah, just kind of keep it in the glass so I can kind of see the water. I've heard obviously glass, you know, kind of retains a little bit of heat. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to keep it up on my shelf because my shelf is pretty warm. I'm going to keep it back here uh, to my, your left, my right, uh, where baby Yoda's uh, little small ping is kind of growing um, just right back there uh, on my side table. Just hopefully I can kind of, so like a whole bunch of like algae doesn't like grow or any other things. I want to kind of at least let the water uh, wick up to the rock and just kind of see, will the pings survive? Uh, will they like it? Will they attach itself? So before I kind of put it on my hot shelf, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So the other key thing that I do have are these which are, uh, these are diamond bit drills. My wife got them for uh, some of the pots that she's making herself. And uh, I was like, oh, perfect, because I'm gonna need these uh, to drill some holes uh, in, the, in the rocks itself. Oh, also I forgot to mention that, although I did get the rocks just like uh, maybe like a couple hours ago, uh, I did boil them to hopefully sterilize uh, the rocks itself, so just kind of heads up, I boiled them for about 15-20 minutes. It was interesting too, when I poured uh, the rocks out too, uh, of the very hot water and I touched them, it actually did not retain the heat, uh, maybe because of the, the pour, like the rocks are pretty porous. That was pretty interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to give a little bit more like up and close uh, look to how I'm gonna put it together. Uh, you know, drilling the rocks, uh, putting the sphagnum moss, when the hole, well, let me just kind of back up a little bit. The holes that I'll make in the rocks, I'm gonna put sphagnum moss inside of it, so that'll allow uh, moisture to kind of retain itself within the rocks, and I'll hopefully allow the water to wick up, uh, so then uh, the pings itself will always have uh, moisture to uh, grow, live off of, or hopefully grow. So without a further ado, uh, I'm gonna transition and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is when I look at, uh, I've been looking at like the rocks to see which ones do I wanna mount. So out of this, I got uh, one, two, I got six total rocks uh, with me here but I'm only going to kind of like mount two because as I'm looking over here um, at my pings uh, that I have, I only have, uh, let's say one, two, and there's like small little like a bunch, uh, they're like bunched up like right here. So I'm not sure exactly which one I'm gonna mount. I know I'm gonna mount uh, this one right here. It's a Moranthesis. Marant Ping. Same with this one. Uh, these are also Moranthesis, but they're uh, just a slightly different type. Uh, Moranthesis uh, Cordata. Maybe a, a slightly different cross. So let's just kind of... Uh, we're going to give this a good old try. I don't know exactly what I'm just doing just yet, but I'm going to give it a try. Now, when I look at these two rocks right here, what I'm gonna do is I have a bowl of water. So I'm gonna kind of keep it here 
what I'll do is I'll probably like submerge like the rocks while I'm drilling because you, uh, I definitely don't want one dust to kind of come up uh, here in my office and then two uh, I just want to make sure that just the rock all those bits will kind of like stay in this water so first I got to kind of like check out this rock where do I want to mount it I think that's kind of like the, the first step uh, that you want to do I do see here that there is like a little hole like in this rock let me see if I can kind of Pull it this way, you can kind of see like through, oh, right there, there's a hole in the rock. So that's a kind of like a good place. There's also one right here. It's a little hard to tell. Uh, the light's not doing like the best. There's another hole right there. Do I want to mount it there? But I'm going to keep this rock kind of like flat. So I'll probably mount one ping right here. I think that's a good spot. Uh, to do that, one here. Um, probably I'll try to do, I'll try to drill a hole right here. So that's two, two little areas, and maybe like a third, just right on this back side. See if I can get it. And then for this one, this rock is a lot more porous. I don't know exactly where I'm going to mount it to, but I'm just looking at the face. Here we go, like a small little area. This looks good right here. Yep, yeah, just kind of like on the this lower side. One, maybe two, this back side three. So maybe three in each, three holes in each. Okay, so... Let me figure out which drill bit is probably going to be the most desired. So as I'm looking here at like each of my drill bits, oh, here we go. So I'm gonna get, grab one of the three smallest ones because I'm not gonna do any of like the, the larger ones. So that's a pretty much like a no brainer. So I have these three drill bits. I don't know the exact size on here. It doesn't say, but just looking at like the, the drill bits, let me just kind of put this in order here, All right? One, two, three. And then just looking at like the size of the rock, I am just gonna go with the smallest one to start. I think that's the safest bet. I'm just kind of put it here. I do have my drill next to me that right there. So I do have a, a wireless drill. You can see right here, just the wireless drill. All right, so what I'm gonna do also is, I think during when I'm kind of like drilling, I'll just kind of like either lower or like mute the sound because I'm sure it's gonna be annoying uh, to you as you're watching this. So let's just put this together here. And just for everybody out there who is uh, watching this video, I've never done this before. So this is gonna be my, my very first try at this. I'm probably gonna do this with this first rock. All right, so there's gonna be a lot of uh, fails going on and I think that's okay. But that's the whole point, right? You wanna experiment. So let's see here. Just gonna kinda go right on in. So I can really tell the hard part is going to be um, getting the drill bit like a, a starter hole. So what I've, what I've been uh, seeing here is that you wanna probably hold the bit at about like 45 degrees. Just kinda do a little starter if you can. It is not gripping, it is just going all over the place.
Ooh. What just happened there? Yeah, I got it started. So I don't know if you can see that pretty well. The light's not the best, but right there, that's where I drilled like the hole. Awesome. So I'm just gonna continue. Yep, so what I'm hoping is that get that hole kind of like big enough because what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of, you know, smoosh in there some uh, sphagnum moss. And then I'm going to try it here on this other side. Is that enough? So th the question I have for myself is, do I need to go all the way through to this rock just so I know that the water is gonna kind of like wick through? Well, one thing I know is that I'm gonna at least have the water level kind of like decent. So I'm assuming that uh, the water will at least, you know, with the sphagnum moss in there, it's gonna kind of retain the, like the water. So. I'm just gonna kind of like leave it like that. I got the the holes about three quarters of the way down. I'm gonna, yep, it's gonna have a nice, let me do a little bit more on this one. I do have to say that this diamond bit, oh, it does work really well. Okay, it's not all the way through, but that's okay. All right, so I got three areas that I'm gonna try. I'll have some sphagnum moss in there a little bit, put it in there, awesome. That's rock number one. So let's kind of try rock number two. As, as the water is getting like murkier, I can't tell exactly where like my drill bit is going. Guess just make it deep enough. Yep, I definitely just want it deep enough so I can, you know, pack it with some sphagnum moss. All right, there's hole number one on that side. Two holes. Let's go for the last one. Woo. All right, just like that, I believe I'm good. Do I, as long as I feel satisfied with it, all right, I'm good. All right, great. Yeah, just took the, the bit out real quick. I'll just put this to the side. Okay. Use some water to spray this down. That's all I need for kind of like the water part. Just move this off to the side and just to kind of look at all that, uh, like the rock, the lava rock, all the, the little bits. 
totally murked up the water. That's expected though. Okay, now for, uh, I think this is part two, right? I wanna put some, I kind of pre-soaked a little bit of sphagnum moss um, in here. And what I'm gonna do is I have some, just kind of somewhat my plant tweezers. I'm gonna kind of just take some small little strands here. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of, I guess just push it in there. I don't expect this whole thing to go in there. So you're gonna have to kind of tear it off. So there's one. Here's another side. Oh, see, that was just enough, two. Yep, there, got that speckle moss. And then one kind of like a little last little strip here. So this was a uh, this was a hole already like in the rock. So I believe I'm just gonna maybe pull it through a little bit. Okay. See, that wasn't that bad at all. So I have uh, right there. One, two, three, all filled with sphagnum moss. So that's one rock done. Let's just go on to the next, just continue this. And I'm not gonna keep, um, when I put the rocks like in the water, I'm not gonna put anything else uh, like below, like moss or any other like just rocks. So I'm just gonna kind of like just leave these two uh, just like in the, uh, the water just itself. Two more to go. All right, and then the last one. All right, and I believe that's it. You know, I've kind of compacted it a, a little bit. I don't know if it's like too much or, or not, but you know, to me, I guess a, a little bit more of like the sphagnum moss in there, it'll kind of hold some of that water. So check it out. Two rocks, three holes each, five artificial, one was already in the rock. And then now this is the fun part. Now it's time to um, mount uh, the pings. Let's move that aside. So this is the fun part. I mean, not like everything. I am enjoying myself very, very, very much. But it's a little nerve wracking because these are very small and they're probably already clinging to the sphagnum moss already. Oh, check this out. So this ping that I'm just kind of pulling off right here, just look at all those roots. Okay, so question is, where do I put this? Uh, maybe it's gonna, um, live on like this top one. I'll make it, since it's like a little bit like a, a bigger one, it's kind of like, oh, king of the mountain. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of with my index finger on my left hand, I am um, just holding the ping down just a little bit, like apply like a little pressure. And then I'm gonna use the, the plant tongs to, to I guess like just um, pull the roots a little bit. Oh, see, I mess it. <laughs> I keep on like messing with it. And now the pings are all moving all over the place. I think for right now, I'm just going to kind of like lay it on top. So obviously the the roots are kind of like attached, not like attached, but it's just laying on the rock. And I'm hoping like over time, then the roots will kind of grab onto like the sphagnum moss. Because if I just put it down, right, it's just gonna, it's gonna be there. So that's cool. 
that's all I really need, right? It's just to lay the pings down. It's not going to move. All right, this is going to be an interesting one too. So here are some baby pings. So this is off of one leaf, right? Look at great roots, super awesome. But what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to split it. So it's gonna be like, hopefully two or three little babies. All right, so I'm able to kind of pull that off. I'll leave that leaf to the side and let's see how I can split this. Will it pull apart easily? Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. Awesome. So I, I can tell that there's some smaller pups too that, that's attached, but that's okay. So I have two that's right there. Check out how long those roots are. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably just gonna do the same. Uh, let me just kind of put that ping on top. I'm just gonna see how I can maybe just bunch this um, roots a little bit on here. Just apply a little pressure so it kind of like stays. And that's it for that one. Uh oh, just knocked, knocked the bigger one off. I guess that's the risk that you take, right? Uh... uh oh, all right. Got it laid on there. Let me lay this on top. All right, there's rock number one. There we go. Just kind of hold it up to the. There's rock number one. Just going to, I'm just going to lay it inside the glass. Cool. Okay. Let's do rock number two. I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit more difficult just because now I have just like baby pups. see here let me just take a look root, root system is fantastic again take this Oh, pull that leaf out, but then it pulled a little baby pup, but it separated the others. All right. Oh, all right. So let's give this one. Just 
just going to put it here to the right there. I'm like, geez, how many, how many do I have in here? Oh, what's cool. Um, so I'm taking my, uh, my little tweezers here and then I close it. And then when it's going to separate, I just let it open up and then it separates the pings. That's how you do it. Okay. So there's technically two two pings in this one, like a double bunch. All right, I have it somewhat attached. If it's just gonna like lay on there, just give it a little pressure. And then let's do the last one here. I think for this last one, I might need to just separate this again. There's like three in here. Or should I just let all three of them just grow on there? Oh, there we go. Up oh, just a little bit for him. Let me separate those two because I'm just going to leave it back in here, let them continually grow. Okay, now I got to get this last ping on there. Oh, it just kind of like laid on top. Nice. Okay. All right. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. So. Rock number two is done. Cool. Check that out. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh-oh. That's what I was afraid of. I'm already seeing this ping... I've fallen off. Just give it some. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye on him. So just like that, I have pings on a little rock. I'm going to let them grow. It's kind of like a, <laughs> it's not really. It's like a drink. Oh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> ping, ping. Not cheers, but there we go. And I think uh, last thing that I'm going to do here, okay. last thing I'm going to do here is I do have uh, my little water jug here. So this does have uh, my filtered water. It's my zero filtered water. I'm just going to kind of pour it on the side. I'm going to fill it up so it reaches about a quarter of the way, and I think that's it, okay? And there she does it. I am all done. Got some uh, pings on a rock, my little babies that I've uh, propagated, and let's just see how they grow. So I appreciate it. This definitely took, uh, this definitely took me some time uh, to kind of put together, but like I said, I had no expectations. I didn't know what I was doing. I did have some, again, thank you for watching my channel. This has definitely been a, a great little project that I've been wanting to do. If it all goes well, then hey, I'll probably do more. And what I also do have are 
um, I'll show you here, right? I, I've kind of saved some uh, bottles here. I'm obviously having my beer right now. But I've saved some bottles because uh, I did get a glass cutter over Christmas. And if this works out well, maybe I'll use the, the glass cutter uh, for some of the bottles that I do have, kind of cut them and I can kind of also, you know, have some other like pings on a rock that will just kind of sit in some water. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you've liked uh, my content, uh, my channel slowly begins to uh, grow. Thank you for all of you that have been watching and uh, subscribing lately. Uh, please like and subscribe and until next time. All right, take care.